this is going to be phoenix's 23 month update i'm doing it from my phone so i'm sorry if it's a little shaky i just haven't really had the time to sit down get the camera out and do all that so i just wanted to jump on here real quick and just do his update so i don't miss a month because i just have one more of his update and that's it and that one will be his 24th month update his two-year update so i just really didn't want to miss this but since, uh, for those of you who don't know, I just had a baby, so I just had um, Avery three weeks ago, and he turned 23 months last week, so I've just been a little busy and had a hard time finding time to do this, and she's waking up right now, so let's see if if she lets me do this. So, Phoenix, there isn't much to update. He has just been becoming such a smart um boy he understands so much more now like i can tell him wait right here or like don't move if i need to like lock the door or i need to like okay i need to grab her so hold on so avery has joined me for this update so hopefully it goes well so like i was saying he is just becoming so so smart like um this month was actually the first time that he was ever babysat and ever away from me overnight. Um, it was so hard on me, but it it has created a bond with him and my husband like no other. Like him and my husband, he has had uh, this love for my husband always. He's always, you know, but it's like, it's just different. It's like he, he just is super close to him now. And it's awesome. Um, like normally if he needed a toy opened or something, he would come to me or you know, now he'll go to him. Like it's like he just knows like, oh, daddy knows exactly everything I want to, not just mommy. Um, so that was really nice to see. Sorry, my hand is like killing me. Um, really nice because it has just shown me that he is going to be okay if I leave him. Um, my friend said that he behaved really well. He and she even took him out for a walk and he napped for her. He, you know, he, he was good for her. So I know that he, it's possible that he'll, he'll survive and he'll still be fine if I um, leave him. And it was really hard for me, even though I was in the hospital. I missed him like crazy. I just missed being home. It was really hard. But he did awesome. And my husband said he just has become, did so great with, like, if my husband was getting something out of the car and he would stand next to him and he would tell him, okay, no, like, don't walk away. And he would stay there. Even with us walking around in a park or anywhere we go now, it's just so much easier because he actually understands us. Like, we'll tell him, hold on or slow down or don't run. And he actually understands fully, like, what we're telling him. So that is a big help, especially now with the baby. This month, he has also become a big brother. And oh my God, I did not know that he was going to be the sweetest big brother ever. And he just loves Avery. He's actually obsessed with her. He runs out of his room. And if you guys have seen my vlogs, you have seen how he's been interacting with her. Um, and he comes to look for her. He says, hi, sister. And um, it's just the cutest thing ever. He's always kissing her. And the first time he kissed her, he actually did it all on his own, which he's not a big kisser, which lately he has actually been very, very affectionate and he kisses a lot more. Um, and it just shows you that love a lot more and it's just so cute he's always like if she's on the bed I'll get on the bed and look he's like you know I trying to teach him to be careful because he's a little rough sometimes because he doesn't know and he's always like poking her nose in her eye and it's because we're teaching him his body parts he knows where his nose and his head is and all that so he I think he like does it to her like he's always touching her nose and then sometimes he'll go for her eye and I've been trying to teach him, you know, he has to be careful. Um, his sleeping is still the same. He had a few days where he was fighting his nap a little bit and um, he's gotten better. Like, it's like every, what, we've been home three weeks. So it's probably happened like three times. So what happened? You want to be in the video? It's probably happened like three times, but you know, other than that, he's been doing good. His nighttime sleeping, he's been waking up a little earlier, um, but, and he has actually been like, 
he, before he used to stay in the crib a lot longer in the morning now he okay so i had to come record on my ipad because my phone is full i know that i um uploaded videos but i don't know which ones so i don't want to delete them and i don't feel like going downstairs anyway let me make this quick i'm not sure where it ended but he has been an awesome big brother lately um he is sometimes a little too rough and i have to tell him no and he gets a little upset with me but you know he's still learning he's trying to be um nice and kind he just doesn't know his strength and that she's a little baby and that he can't you know do certain things with her but he is adjusting very good so far thank god um we're at three weeks he does get upset when i tell him like no or i don't let him like buy her like if i'm feeding her he'll try to get on the bed and try to like be all in her face and i'm like no baby you gotta be careful because i'm feeding her or whatever he does get mad at me today he actually bit me like twice when i was holding her so i think that he's adjusting to her well but he's um not really liking when i don't let him buy her sorry my hair looks retarded right now when i don't let him buy her and um like if we're gonna go downstairs she's right here that's what i'm looking at if we're gonna go downstairs and i leave her up here because i bring him down first and then her he'll like kind of like run back to the bed and then run back to the stairs like kind of like um you're gonna leave her and he kind of gets upset and he'll cry a little bit or whine and then he'll come downstairs with me and i'm like you know i'm gonna come back and get her or whatever because i try not to take them both down the stairs just in case <sighs> um what else his therapy has been going okay we finally got somebody to come who was awesome and he was doing so so good she he just stuck to her like glue and she would walk in and he would sit right down right in front of her stayed there the whole time did everything she asked he she was like so impressed with how smart he was and everything he did she, she was like wow i can't keep up with him like i'm gonna run out of toys and run out of things to do with him because he just masters it masters it so fast and he would match the colors and match the items matching was his like number one thing that he would do so well and um she for personal reasons had to stop working <laughs> in total like she's not working anymore for i don't know how long so now we're waiting on a new therapist that i think starts next week so i'm not looking forward to that i just hate the beginning of it because i don't know how he's gonna react like he really loved her like she, when she was done playing with him and she was writing his notes he would get upset and get mad and when she would leave he would get upset so like he really took to her and really liked her and i liked her and it just worked out great like if she was asking me a question and i'm answering her and she's working with him and she, um she needed to say something to him she would say she right over what i was saying like what i had to say wasn't her priority it was him like she would make sure she was giving him the attention not like a lot of the other therapists that, that were kind of talking to me more than anything else so hopefully fingers crossed this next one is just as good um what else is his weight i haven't checked his weight he's going to his two-year checkup so i will tell you guys all that next month um he did get a little sick this month when we brought home avery i think it's because we went to a couple splash parks i don't know if it was just like the water being outside type thing or if it was just being around all those kids you know how it is like just germs that are there so i honestly think it was that my husband thinks that it was him he was had this period where he was putting everything in his mouth where he was putting his hands in his mouth all the time and like we were out at target at different places and he would touch stuff and then put it in his mouth my husband thinks it was because of that and then i kind of got a little sick and so did my husband thankfully avery didn't get anything breast milk is definitely awesome because she didn't get it at all she had a couple boogies but that was it so that was good um what else he's been has been loving the water and the pool and the splash parks he's just been loving it he definitely warmed up to the splash park like the first day he was not really into the the like the, the burst of water coming down but then the second day we went he was just loving it running around and it was just the cutest thing ever um so that was good because it's a park you know close enough to our house that we can take him and it's only a dollar to go in that section and you know it could be something that we do with him when you know there's not much else to do um 
that's pretty much it for our update. He has been talking a little bit more, just not as much as he should be, but he definitely um, says a couple more words or mimics more sounds, which is awesome. And um, like I said, he's totally understanding us so much more. It's like I can have a full conversation with him. I can ask him for something and he'll totally understand me. And it just feels awesome to have him at like that. It's like he's such a big boy. We're planning his birthday party. I have, um, I don't know, I haven't planned as much as I did at this point last year. But with having the baby and everything, it's just been crazy. But I have a lot planned in my head. We're still trying to um, finalize everything with the location and then I'll go and like buy stuff because um, depending on the location, it's like, you know, kind of what like I need to know how many tablecloths and all that. Um, we might do it in a park or in like a Burger King type of thing. Um, we're still on the hunt for that. We're going to finalize that soon because I mean, it's in less than a month, right? Today, Yeah, it's in a month his party because his birthday is on a Monday so we're gonna have his party that weekend um what else I can't believe he's gonna be two it's so crazy we're definitely not close to potty training at all um I'm gonna wait till he's talking and really now he understands a lot more so maybe maybe he'll show signs a lot sooner than I think he's gonna show I'm trying so hard not to look at myself and to look at the not to look at the viewfinder to look at you guys but it's so hard and she's over here, so I keep looking at her, too. Anyway, um, maybe he'll show me signs a lot sooner than I think, and he'll surprise me, because normally that's kind of what he does. He, I always expect, sorry, I always expect him to do, like, a specific thing, and he always surprises me. Um, so yeah, I, I can't think of anything, any other updates, so if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. This was Phoenix's 23-month update. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. And I will see you guys for his two-year update. And I promise I'll have my thoughts much more um, together and much more, uh, you know, organized and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.